what's good y'all it's Ross back at again with another video so back here once again to give my preview and predictions for backlash I, i'm what's good y'all it's Ross back at again with another video so i'm back here once again to give my preview and predictions for backlash man i'm looking forward to checking it out with you guys live on the in the clutch page so make sure you guys are a part of the stream it's going to be a uh, a, a fun time we always have a good time when it comes to these uh um these live stream reactions and uh backlash is going to be in puerto rico man it should be an interesting situation i believe it's been sold out for quite some time so hopefully the uh the puerto rican crowd can bring that energy i think they will this should be uh hopefully a, a good a good pay-per-view overall i'm gonna go through the the list of uh, matches they already have set for the show give my preview predictions who's gonna win who's gonna lose why and why not and we can have that discussion down below in the comment section so let's start with the match i am really looking forward to seeing honestly the most and hopefully they do the right thing cody rhodes versus brock lesnar <sighs> I have to take a deep breath. Uh, I have to really think about this. I've been kind of racing. My mind has been racing back and forth. Who do I think will win? Honestly, and, and this is one of those things I have to choose my words carefully because we're talking about WWE here. We're talking about Vince McMahon is part of creative and what happens in creative going forward along with Triple H. Honestly, who needs to win is Cody. The question is, do I believe he will win? I have to have faith <laughs> in Triple H to be able to say he he will give Cody the win here. Because if he loses this match, in my personal opinion, if Cody loses to Brock, what's the point? What is the point? No, there's no point. I, I think, honestly, he needs to beat Brock Lesnar. If they're still going with the story, I don't know how they're going to get Cody to the uh, the Universal Championship title contention with Roman again. I don't know how they're going to do that. But if you're going to do that, he has to beat Brock. You can't have him lose two back-to-back -back big matches. He needs to beat Brock. Am I afraid that they won't pull the trigger and have him do it? Yes, I am. But I'm going with my gut here. I'm going with Cody winning. I'm praying that he wins. He needs this win. It makes no sense. I mean, personally, I wasn't a big fan of him losing at WrestleMania. I'm definitely not a big fan of him losing to Brock. Even though Brock is a legit guy. And, you know, I understand, you know, you want to kind of, you know, keep that, that sense of Brock is a dangerous threat and not many people beat Brock. But Cody needs to beat Brock. If he can't beat Brock, then what's the point? I think people would start to even care less about the Cody finishing his story. So I'm going with Cody overcoming the odds and beating Brock Lesnar. That is my prayer. And that is my, my prediction. Please let it happen so we can move forward. Bad Bunny versus Damian Priest in a street fight match, man. Uh, actually, I think this is going to be pretty good. I am actually, I'm actually thinking this is going to be something fun. I think that they're... Um, uh, the crowd's going to love this. I think they're going to have a good time. Like, I think they're going to put on an entertaining match. Once again, Bad Bunny is not a traditional wrestler. But he did show out when he teamed up with Damian Priest uh, a few years ago at WrestleMania. So I do think they're going to have a good time. I, I think this could be a match that really gets the crowd um, extra excited. And I'm going with Bad Bunny to win this one. It doesn't really make... Damian Priest doesn't need to beat Bad Bunny. I don't think we need to continue to feud after this. I am going to go with Bad Bunny getting the dub here. It, it just makes sense. But I do think the match will be fun. SmackDown Women Championship. Rhea Ripley versus Zelina Vega. Uh, I think this is... I hope this has the making of being a, a good match. I think Rhea can bring Zelina to a, a, a solid match. She's really good at selling. And, you know, Zelina's the smaller opponent. So I, I think they will fail, fare well in the ring. But we all know Rhea's not losing the title anytime soon. 
Rhea Ripley will retain. I do think it'll be hopefully a solid match. And um, um, we'll probably, I don't know, we'll see where Rhea, who she ends up feuding with next. But um, I do think they will have a, a, a good showing. Hopefully they do. Uh, but Rhea will retain. Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus The Usos and Solo Sokoa. Um, this is a match that's I think it's going to be also one of those high octane it's going to be some near falls it's going to be intense but i do think this the story of the bloodline continuing to crack is going to be really the most important thing about this which will ultimately decide at the ending of this match i do think matt riddle kevin owens and Sami Zayn will win this match and we're going to start seeing even more pieces start falling apart because I'm sure there's going to be some dissension with the Usos and Solo Sokoa. And maybe the Usos are the reason why they end up losing this match. And it's going to create more of a rift uh, between members in the bloodline. So I think that's the story they're going to tell. It's kind of straightforward booking in this sense. It's, it's nothing that is like, you know, I don't, I don't think is they're going to pull the swerve. It doesn't make sense for them to pull the swerve. So Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, they're going to win. And we're going to continue the storyline of what's going to happen with the Usos now that they not only didn't regain the tag titles, but now they were, they, you know, they ended up losing this match or, or one of the reasons why they ended up losing this match. I think it's going to really cause some, some more, more tension uh, with members in the bloodline, especially with Roman. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that because that's the story where most, uh, most of the fans are trying to figure out. How is this going to play out? When is the other shoe going to drop? When will Roman sick solo on his own family, on his own brothers? Should be quite interesting. We got the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair versus EO Sky. I think this is going to be a fun match as well. EO Sky can go. And I think this is going to be the start of EO potentially maybe breaking away from damage control. But I do feel like Bianca Belair will retain. She's not losing uh to eo but i do think we're gonna get a good showing out of this and maybe we can start getting eo in more of a solo role because she can't go in the ring so i'm looking forward to this i think this is, it could potentially still could be matching the night we will see nice states championship austin theory versus bobby lashley versus uh bronson reed now this is a very interesting one this is very interesting um I'm really trying to think in this particular situation, who would I have keep it? Um, I'm not even sure. I don't think Bronson Reed is going to get the championship yet. And honestly, we've been in a situation where Austin Theory was in a triple threat. I believe Bobby was a part of that too. Um, Austin Theory was uh, in that and uh, he ended up retaining I think they switch it up. I think they switch it up. I think we're going with Bobby Lashley being the United States champion. He's been in these matches with Austin Theories a few times already. A few times already. So I, I just don't see... If, I don't know. Putting him in this situation for him to lose again. It'd be like, ah, uh, I don't know. I, I think I think they probably may go with Austin Theory moving forward to something else. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley to uh, to uh, overcome the odds here and become the new United States champion. I don't think anyone would have a problem with that. So I'm going with that. And the match I don't really care about, don't have no interest in, but could be good. Seth Rollins versus Omos. Seth Rollins need to win. It's simple. I think they're, they're setting up for Seth Rollins to be the new world heavyweight champion. Seth Rollins needs to win simple as that i don't i'm honestly not interested in this match could this match be good could seth rollins carry omos to a great match maybe but honestly i don't give a damn i just want this match to be done and over with honestly i would love for this maybe to be the first match of the night who fucking knows get this in and out we done move on to something else seth rollins win so he can focus on winning the world heavyweight championship because i do think that's where they're going so but yeah man that's my preview and predictions 
on that on this uh particular uh ple or pay-per-view however you want to call it so comment down below let me know who do you guys think will win who do you guys think will lose why and why not and where do you guys think these uh matches and storylines will lead to going to in the future but i appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace